Feeling faint on your period is actually such a common but such an ignored symptom that women and girls experience. I recently did a video about what is a normal period and how heavy a heavy period has to be to be quantified as something that's problematic. And especially if you're needing to have a blood transfusion or you're getting anemic, then that is not normal. Please go back and look at that video that I discussed. But I wanted to talk about fainting on your period and why that happens. The major reasons why you could feel faint on your period is because of pain, heavy bleeding or hormonal changes. So let's break those down. The reason we feel faint is because of a vasovagal response or otherwise known as syncope. Now the reason that happens when we're in pain particularly is because if you think about it, when you're having your period and your womb, your uterus lining is contracting in order to get rid of the lining of the womb, you release prostaglandins. High level of prostaglandin is what's causing that cramp, but also when the prostaglandins are whizzing around your bloodstream, it also impacts on your cardiovascular system. So your heart has to bump harder and harder in order to get the blood flow around. And when it doesn't take the time to do that, or it's going a little bit faster than it should, you get micro fluctuations in blood pressure, which means that the pressure going up to the brain uh, in women, particularly when they're having their periods, can be that they feel rather faint or they get syncope or otherwise known as vasovagal. If you're having heavy periods, then that could also lead to a high level of blood loss. Losing blood can make you anemic, which means you can lose red blood cells like this. Having anemia can mean that you actually lose oxygen because these blood vessels, one of the great things that they do is they take oxygen. Now this happens on a smaller level, even even microscopic changes we believe that when you lose oxygen, your brain function realizes that and that can also lead to fainting. Hence why with anemia, not only do you feel faint, you feel tired, fatigued, your memory might become affected. You might feel slightly more thirsty because your body wants to rehydrate yourself to increase the blood flow. The other thing that we also notice is that you might, um, in some of my patients, I'm, I'm realizing that they want to have more either salty or um, more sugary foods as well. That's again, is for energy sources because when you become anemic, you can also lose other vital um, sugars and nutrients as well and salts that we need in order to function. So anemia can actually have a huge impact on our body and that significantly impacts women more by the very nature that we menstruate. Sometimes we can check a hemoglobin, which is just your total HB that's rolling around in your bloodstream and we can do a full blood count. And that can come back as normal or borderline being normal. It's really important to get a ferritin blood test as well from your doctor. So when I do anemia checks, I do sometimes a B12, a folate, a ferritin or iron study, as well as a hemoglobin, because a hemoglobin, a total hemoglobin could come back for women who are menstruating that it's self-regulated back to normal, but actually it's the ferritin that you need to be looking at to give the proper diagnosis of anemia. And then finally, the fluctuations of our hormones can also make us feel faint in our periods. We do know that estrogen or estradiol, there's different components to estrogen, that is actually an anti-inflammatory properties. We also know that our immune system uses estrogen as an immune modulator. So if you think about it, if you're having periods and your estrogen is dropping as well, which means that you can't fight off things and you're becoming slightly dehydrated or there are other things that are going on uh, affecting your metabolism, you can feel really tired and fatigued and then that can also make you feel faint because it puts further pressure on your cardiovascular system. These are the things that we really need to be talking about and not just fobbing off for individuals that feel faint, like this person has said, look, I literally fainted in my chair at work from having a heavy period because this will impact your life, your quality of being able to do things. You might even refrain from going out the house or imagine if you wanted to participate in sports and you're not going to do that. That's why it's so vital to persevere, keep a symptom diary, track your periods, go and see your GP, somebody like me to who does women's health. It might not actually be the GP, it might be the nurse specialist at the practice or a locum doctor that has come in on that particular day that is doing women's health. And then by tracking your periods and also by tracking how much you're losing, a good rule of thumb that I use with my patients is I ask them how many tampons or how many pads do they change every hour? Now I know some of the new tampons and pads have that technology in them which coagulates the blood. So it's important to know whether you use a, a light flow, a moderate flow or a heavy flow because I ask that specifically of my patients. But also period cups or otherwise known as moon cups are also another really good way of measuring how much you're losing. Again, they're inserted similar to a uh, tampon or a, a, a tampon and they actually measure the amount that you 
and you can measure the amount on the cup in regards to how much you're losing. Um, that way, by keeping a clear diary, you almost have to be the investigative person yourself because going to the doctor and saying, I have heavy periods, doesn't always necessarily mean that you'll get the answer that you're, you're looking for because we need to quantify the reason why you're getting your heavy periods. And if you want to have further information, because I could waffle on for all day, I've got so much advice and hints and tips in this book. So go ahead and have a look. Okay, bye.